please don't call me arrogant because what I, I'm saying is true. I'm European champion, so I'm not one of of the bottle. I'm a, I think I'm a special one. He began in the shadows. Jose stood behind me, listened, learned, looked, wrote, remembered. When he got his chance, he didn't just grasp it, he throttled it. Relatively early in his career and what he's won so far, if he carries on with that, then he is going to be up there with the greatest and possibly the one that you put on top of all of them. Mourinho is a great coach and so thorough with details. He prepares for games like nobody else. I'm not putting pressure on you about uh, we have to win every game. I don't want to put that kind of pressure, but we cannot lose. We cannot lose. I don't think failure is a, a word in his dictionary. His players would do anything for him. And that was his best thing, I think, that he had a great connection with all the players. He has the credentials to be the best we've ever seen. There are many ways to become a, a, great, a great manager, but mostly I believe um, that the most difficult thing is, is, is to lead men in different uh, cultures, with different uh, brains, with different qualities. And I think to manage this is, is the most important point. Champions Leagues, doubles, trebles, countless manager and personal awards. Many moments already stand out in Jose Mourinho's career, but one announced him to the watching world. With Porto trailing Manchester United in the last 16 of the 2004 Champions League, Costinha scored, Porto were through, Manchester United out, and Jose Mourinho's career was off and running. A crucial moment for my career was my first season playing Champions League and to go with, uh, with Porto and beat Man United at uh, at uh, Old Trafford and score a goal in minute 90 or 91 was, was a magic moment for me. Jose Mourinho was born in Setubal, southern Portugal, with football in his blood. His father, Felix, was a professional goalkeeper, but his son's playing career would never really get off the ground. However, that would not restrict the aspirational young coach. Like a player, you have to to be born with, with some natural talent. And after that, there are many ways of, of becoming a, um, a top manager. I don't like to say that um, to become a great manager, you had to be a great player, because in this moment, you have many of us in, in the top, and we weren't a great player. So there are many ways to become a, a, great, a great manager. Mourinho got his break at Sporting Lisbon, thanks to an Englishman. Jose introduced himself to me because the, the, the president couldn't, said who he was, what he was, and that he was to be uh, my interpreter. Spoke very good English, good looking guy, told him not to stand next to me too many times, and we got stuck into the job. It was as simple as that. It gave me a, a great chance of, uh, of work at the top level when I was so young. And that, for me, was, uh, was very important. I needed him on the pitch every day. He stood behind me, listened, learned, looked, wrote, remembered. When Robson moved from Sporting Lisbon to Porto, Mourinho went with him. He was no longer an addition to his managerial team. He was a vital part of it. It's possible. I was an interpreter, why? Because I, I could speak English and nobody else could do it. Uh, that's, that's the reality. But to, to call interpreter to somebody that was preparing uh, matches, uh, analyzing, coaching on the pitch to call him interpreter, I think is from the beginning uh, the, wrong, the wrong words, but not a problem for me. I asked him now and again to write out uh, a tactical appreciation report on opponents that we're going to play in the very, very near future. I have to tell you, he, he produced the best tactical and appreciation of how 
our opponents play that I've seen. I was with him in three different clubs, around five, six years um, together, and we were the extreme, uh, a young boy um, that wants to make a, a career and of course help his, uh, his boss. And in the other way, uh, a top manager in Europe in, in that time. Porto won the 1994 Portuguese Cup, followed by the league in 95 and 96, before Robson and Mourinho moved to Barcelona. One thing I did like about him, whatever I said to him to tell the players, I always got the strong feeling that he was saying to the players exactly what I was saying and in the manner I was saying it. And I have to tell you this also, that the, the, in all the three clubs that we worked together, Sporting Lisbon, Porto Football Club, Barcelona, all the players, knowing that he wasn't a great player, he wasn't one of them as a player, but they liked him, appreciated him, uh, and they t totally respected him. After three cup successes at Barcelona, Robson was replaced at the new Camp. But Mourinho stayed to work with Dutchman Louis van Gaal, winning two league titles. In 2000, Mourinho was ready to go it alone as manager of Benfica. He wouldn't last long. After a row with the president, Mourinho quit to take charge of a smaller club, Uniao Leria, steering them to fifth, their highest ever league position. Mourinho's detailed reports and analysis of opponents caught the eye of Porto, where Mourinho and his coaching team would make their mark. The way we, we work is, I think, is different from most of the managers. When we think about the method, when we think about what to do in relation with the team, to, to organize the team, to play the way he wants, uh, my contribution is in a complement of his ideas. With only a few months of their first season remaining, Mourinho was already planning ahead. What we did in that uh, first three months was like analysing the situation, preparing the next season and uh, what happened after is, is, is history. In Mourinho's first full season, Porto won the league in record-breaking style. 1-27, drawn five, lost just two. It was a great time. Uh, it was a great time for me to, to put the team in the right place in, in the Portuguese football. And we could do, in two consecutive years, we, we did two trebles. Porto followed the league win with victory in the domestic cup, before beating Celtic 3-2 in the UEFA Cup final to complete an incredible treble. We made history because it's the first time this cup goes to our country, so it's fantastic and at the same time we did also history because we won the same in the same season uh, the Portuguese league and the European competition. It's fantastic for us and I'm proud of, of the kids and I'm also proud because the match was an incredible match. The following season launched Mourinho into superstardom. Porto had won the league, but their win over Manchester United in the last 16 of the Champions League grabbed everyone's attention to go with, uh, with Porto and beat Man United at, uh, at uh, Old Trafford and score a goal in minute 90 or 91 when everybody was thinking uh, we, we were out of the competition. It was, it was a magic moment for me. After a quarter-final win over Lyon and a narrow victory over Deportivo La Coruña, Porto would meet Monaco in the 2004 Champions League final. Mourinho's men were supreme. Goals from Carlos Alberto, Deco, and then Elenachev clinched Porto only the second European Cup in their history. <laughs> <laughs> 